Oh my gosh, look at you with the boots and the jeans and the chain. You look like Florida George Lion. I don't know what that guy's name is, but you look just like him. Doesn't he, Mom? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's got the tan t-shirt. We're all rocking holy jeans and tan. What? This is the best Easter we ever. Didn't, we didn't originally plan it, and then as we were getting dressed, we kind of just started matching. So you know, yeah. it. I wouldn't expect anything less. Whoa! <laughs> wow! <laughs> What's going on, guys? I'm back. Well, obviously I'm back because there's a train, and I seem to be a magnet to trains for some reason. But I am stuck here just looking. Yesterday we dropped the I'm leaving pharmacy video. And we did not lose any subscribers. You guys are freaking awesome. We knew you were here for Tori and not just the company she was with. This is absolutely outstanding. I love reading the comments. It's such a blessing and it just gives me goosebumps. I can only imagine how Tori feels. And I know she's getting back to you guys as quick as she can. But I wanted to thank you as well. So anyway guys, we'll get back to the video. And I'm going to try to get away from this train. I don't think anyone needs to try to be like anybody else. If you're trying to be somebody else, that's gonna come across and people are gonna feel that like, oh, like the, the fakeness. But when you are being undeniably you and you are passionate about what you're doing, people feel that. It, it hits different. This is it, this is the new direction. Hello, you guys, welcome back to the channel. A little bit of a different setting. I know I've been MIA, I'm sorry. There's been so much happening. Like I am so excited to share with you guys what's been happening, but we are turning the downstairs area here. This used to be like, okay, I'm, I'm gonna show you this, but <laughs> so this used to be basically where we would just have like our little like sectional couch thing here. Like they were recliner things. They were falling apart mind you. And so we really needed to get rid of them anyways. <laughs> but we do have like our um, pool table and like fireplace and TV and stuff set up down here. So this is still like a like hangout area, especially in the winter when we want to have fires and stuff. But this area is now not going to have a couch. <laughs> we might get some big old bean bag chairs or something like that. If you guys know some cool ones, definitely uh, send me the links because <laughs> we're going to need those because we're not going to put a couch here. This is now going to be a studio uh photo and video studio <laughs> i don't know you guys but so me and asher man have been running around town going to lowe's going you know just ran running random places to pick up like the odds and ends stuff of course amazon is my go-to i did get a few things off amazon for this project so we are turning this really badly lit if you can't tell the lighting is like real whack right now I know. Um, we gonna work on it. But <laughs> I got some different lighting. I got um, some backdrops. And we're also going to kind of turn this wall into a whole like backdrop area. <laughs> so I mean, we don't really use this, like I said, besides like just down here watching TV, whatever. So it's not really a big deal. Yeah, so we got all of our tools out here. Let me turn the camera. Hold on so I can see. There we go. Okay, so we got our tools out. We are going to be using this PVC pipe here. Um, I did get an inch and a quarter just because I wanted it to be thick enough and strong enough not to bow in the middle and make the, the backdrop look all weird. Because when, the, when you have something that bows in the middle, even the slightest bit, it will make your backdrop actually look like material as opposed to an actual backdrop because it puts those ripples in it. And I hate that. It's a pet peeve. <laughs> so then we have these hooks right here and we are actually going to be putting these in the ceiling oh my god <laughs> joe's having a panic attack um i got these light bulbs we're gonna see how they do um i'm hoping they're a little bit more like really bright white light i don't know i mean it was like 36 dollars for six of them so they better be good right <laughs> Otherwise, we've got our drill, the drill bits, screwdriver. This is the good old tape measure, handy dandy. Go Bears. <laughs> Joe loves using that one, hence he's a Packers fan. This is the backdrop I got. Here is the brand. I will show you a video clip as well when I actually take this out. Um, obviously, it will have like lines and creases in it. It said that it will need to be either ironed or steamed, and it does have a pocket. So hopefully the pocket is big enough for the inch and a quarter um, PVC pipe. <laughs> but I did get a 10 foot one because the backdrop that I got is 10 foot wide and 12 foot long. 
um, just because I'm actually going to have to be like moving around a little bit more and everything for these like photos and videos. And then I did find this stool on Amazon. It is kind of like a whitewash stool, but just for like pictures and stuff and being able to sit down and just do different poses, everything like that. So Hillsdale Furniture. I don't know. We'll, uh, I'll show you a video of me setting this up too and see how easy or not easy it is. Looks, it looks really easy. I mean, come on. I'm not going to go too in depth in this video on why I'm doing this, but I will say that I have found an app and I kind of put, just because like I have learned so much about like editing, like editing with like photos, videos, like I, I, I show some of my videos that I like edit and everything just on, I, I use InShot on my phone, but iPhones have such good quality that like when you shoot with it and everything like all, most of my nail videos that I do and stuff Those are mostly filmed with my iPhone, which is crazy because the quality is so good Even Joe is impressed. Okay, like he's the one that normally edits all the videos and he's he's been impressed with my editing skills He's like you you did this <laughs> That made me feel good. Okay <laughs> so basically going into uh, you know, saying all that with me learning about, you know, editing videos and photos and things like that, I figured with stepping away and kind of like figuring out what it is that I enjoy doing and getting back to working on me and just things like that. Obviously health and fitness is like super up there for me and we have some more videos coming on that. So stay tuned. But I really do love the whole editing process and like taking fun pictures and things like that. So I actually found an app and it allows you to put like your services that you do. And I basically made a video and I put out there that I was a YouTuber, put out what my following was, things like that, and companies can actually send you jobs, and they'll send you like, oh, I need like five pictures, I need ten pictures, edited, this, that, the other thing, or again, they want unboxings, they want, you know, like videos to market their products, things like that. So, with everything that I've been doing in the last like two and a half years with you know, YouTube, pharmacy, head candy, all of these things, I have learned a lot about, you know, good angles for photos and lighting and this and that. And I'm not trying to like toot my own horn here, but I've gotten fairly decent at it. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, if you're good at something, why not be making some money off it? <laughs> But anyway, so literally I saw this chick on TikTok and she was talking about how she is an at-home model. And of course, like you see these things, you're like, okay, too good to be sure, right? But I actually looked into the app that she was talking about, all this stuff, and like within the first week, I've already had like four or five people contact me for jobs. So it's crazy. It's crazy, you guys. <laughs> so there's going to be more coming about that, but I just wanted to kind of show you guys the process of turning this dark, dingy basement into my new studio space for photos and videos. So that was a whole long spiel for like two minutes of information. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, that was a reference to a comment on one of my videos. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Uh, I need to go help finish cooking dinner here and Joe's gonna come work on putting the hooks in here. So I don't know, I'll, I'll have him film a little bit while he's working, but anyways. Okay, you guys, we'll be back. Hold please. Check out this couch. This thing is seen better days to say the least. We've had this couch for years. I think it's been in three or four of our apartment, house, whatever you wanna call it. I actually bought this thing new back in the day. It was one of my first major purchases on my own was super proud of this thing and yeah it's seen better days we need to get this thing out of here and make some space for the photo studio here we go hello you guys okay day two into the whole making the downstairs a studio uh we already took the lights back the lights that i showed you um they were too they were already too warm for me <laughs> Um, it wasn't that warm, but it was just, it was too warm for me. So we got some different ones. Obviously those are much, much better. It's just, uh, we actually went with these ones right here. Classic LEDs, six pack of them, and we got the daylight. So that was the key is to get the daylight colored ones because those are going to be, I guess, the like brightest. <laughs> I just went to Lowe's. I'm like, just give me the brightest lights that you can give me for these lights. <laughs> I will set up kind of just like a time-lapse video so you guys can just kind of see the process of it. I'm not going to like walk you through this boring process of like, this is what this looks like. Like, 
<laughs> it's fine. But if I like stuff like the stool and stuff that I got and the lighting equipment and all of that, um, I will definitely be putting like links to everything. So that way you guys can check it out or you know, what have you. So, okay, let's go ahead. We're gonna unbox this stuff and we're gonna start setting up and we're gonna see how this turns out. Ha! Ah! actually went off really good. <laughs> I got really smart there. If you guys noticed, I started ironing on the ironing board, this huge thing. I'm like, yeah, we're just going to lay this on the floor and go with it. <laughs> but anyways, so the backdrop is up. La, la, la. Oh my God, it's huge. <laughs> but it's perfect. It's just what I was looking for. And I like like the material is really nice and like it's really nice and thin. It's not super, super thick, which I, I don't know. I kind of like it, but it's not like see-through or anything like that either so you're not gonna be able to see like the wall color or anything like that but yeah I, I would recommend it if you're looking for a good like inexpensive backdrop I think it was like just under $30 so like I said I'll put the link down below moving on we are now going to be getting the lighting like these I ordered these like lighting umbrellas I don't know we're gonna see I'm getting pro status here y'all <laughs> oh my god okay let's let's dive into this box Okay, you guys, so there's the process. Like, as you can see, it's, I mean, it's not super complicated. The lighting kit itself, like the, the hard, I mean, I say the hardest part, but none of it was really hard. Um, it was just having the right equipment. <laughs> um, and making sure that, like, if you want that really clean lighting, I always recommend, like, 
more of the white lighting or daylight, like if you're looking for like actual bulbs and stuff like up here. Um, we originally got like these reveal and I think they were more like soft white and I did not like them because they had more of like a yellow tint to them. So I definitely went with the daylight um, for those bulbs. But the white background, I would definitely recommend. Um, like I said, it's only like 29 something. So like 30 bucks for the background and it's uh, 10 by 12. Otherwise, yeah, the hooks, we actually, so those hooks right up there, we actually had those in the garage. So we took back what I originally got. Those were the hooks I was looking for. I just couldn't find them. And at the time I had Asher with me and I couldn't find anyone in Lowe's to help me. <laughs> so I just like grabbed something and Joe's like, what did you get? <laughs> so anyways, I took those back and Joe's like, oh, I have these hooks. I'm like, oh, perfect. Okay. Otherwise the PVC pipe, I got an inch and a quarter for that. And it's plenty, it's plenty strong. It's not like bowing or anything at the top right here. It's nice and straight. Um, the only thing that we might add, we might add like either a PVC pipe or a piece of trim or something at the bottom just so it pulls the background tight and it's not like, it doesn't show any like waves or anything like that. I'm going to show you guys this. It's kind of a disaster down here. So let's not pay attention to that. But we've got the white umbrella. It comes with two white umbrellas. And then I do have my ring light that I use for all of my like TikToks, everything like that. I have that setting right there as well as the black umbrella that has the silver reflective thing on the inside. You guys know, <laughs> again, lighting. I am obsessive about lighting. I really like it to be a nice clean lighting. The bulbs actually came with this lighting kit. The lighting kit was like, we were looking at some like up to like 200, 250, like we didn't want to spend a crazy amount just because we're just getting started and I just kind of wanted to learn about lighting a little bit more, but I also wanted to have something that, you know, was going to be enough lighting down here because this basement is like dark. So this lighting, um, the umbrellas, and it comes with the three tripods, two white umbrellas, two black umbrellas with the silver reflective on the inside, and three bulbs. That was, I want to say it was between $70 and $80. Um, we will have it linked and everything on like the Amazon storefront under all of the stuff that we like for our equipment and everything because I do like it. But like I said, I just, I did need my ring light for just a little bit extra oomph because I like a lot of light. <laughs> okay, so the other thing, I'm sitting on it right here. I'm going to turn it and show you. I found this stool. I can't remember the brand. I'll have Joe flash it on the screen here, but this was only like, I think it was around 50-ish dollars, between 40 and 50, but um, I also had like an Amazon coupon thing because I started ordering off of their app. So I had like $15 off. So I ended up getting it for like $35 and something. And it's, it's kind of like whitewash. So you don't got to worry about like, if you do scuff it, anything like that. That's what always makes me nervous with like white stools, like being able to see all of the dents and like scratches, anything like that. But this one is more of like a distressed look. Um, super easy to put together. Uh, very basic. Joe put this together actually, because I had to go cook dinner. <laughs> it does come up to about like I don't know upper thigh I guess okay if you guys have any questions or anything like that on any of the equipment um I'll kind of like update and let you guys know how I'm liking it as it as we go here I really liked it for the first thing that I had last night like you guys like look at these pictures and look at like some of the video quality like with the lighting and stuff I just use my iPhone for all of that so like I just think that's crazy like that quality is like Okay. <laughs> I do use some of like the Julie presets and stuff like that to kind of help like brighten and enhance pictures. But other than that, like the, like the lighting was really, really good. So otherwise, like I said, if you have any questions, drop them down in the comments. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button before you leave you guys and stay tuned for all the fun that we have coming because like I said, a lot of stuff. Coming. <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. We'll see you next video. Bye.